Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. Mike Norvell, Florida State, continue to fill it up in the 2025 class, landing the commitment from four-star defensive back Gregory Xavier Thomas from American Heritage. And for the Florida State fans that have been rocking with the fellas the last couple of weeks and months as we've talked this 2025 class, this kid has you know, really emerges as one of my personal favorites. One, I think you get some really nice versatility. I think 24-7 sports sees him as a safety, but you turn on the film and say, this kid could easily be an elite boundary cornerback in the ACC for Florida State. But he gives you that versatility. But I think my, you know, 30-second elevator pitch on Gregory Xavier Thomas is just a premier athlete for the size. I mean, it's really hard to find defensive backs that are 6'2", 190 plus pounds that have the movement skills that Gregory Xavier Thomas does. You see him hold up in man coverage. He takes away throwing windows and zone coverage. There is a lot of different ways you can get him involved in a defense, not to mention the massive frame. He can come up and give you that run support in the box as well. You're getting a versatile athletic defensive back. And you look at what Patrick Sertan senior is building in the secondary, you go back to 2024, Jamari Howard, Charles Lester, Kai Bates, they are just assembling these massive athletic defensive backs. I look at this Florida State secondary and say, it's going to be one of the best units we see in the country in 2024, but in 2025 and in 2026, it's hard to not see this unit continuing to be elite for Florida State. I think they are doing just a phenomenal job in the back end of this defense. And I'm fired up to get into the film of Gregory Xavier Thomas. Before we do, just want to say thank you to you guys and to the Florida State fans. It's just been an absolute blast breaking down these commitments over the last couple of days. The amount of support you guys continue to show truly does mean a lot. If y'all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. And without further ado, Let's get into Gregory Xavier Thomas. I first want to just talk about the position versatility that he brings. I think because of the frame, you want to maybe put him at that safety spot because he's a guy that can come into the box and kind of give you that run support. But I look at the film and say, this kid could easily hold up at cornerback at the power five level. That makes him, at least in my mind, a massive asset for this Florida State team in the back end. Now, if he's going to play safety, I think that, there are so many different ways that you can use him. He has the range and the size to kind of play that free safety role where he's just reading the quarterback's eyes, covering a lot of ground in the back end. But at 6'2", 190, probably plays closer to 200 pounds when he gets to Florida State. This is a guy that you can throw in the tackle box and have an elite run stopper as well. It's all over the film. He's coming downhill, making plays in the run game. He certainly can be that box safety. And then on top of that, he can hold up really well in man coverage. So you talk about maybe taking away some of those bigger jumbo tight ends that are put out into the slot. I mean, this is a guy that you can use in so many different ways in this Florida State defense. And these kind of guys, the versatile defensive backs that can do so many different things, they are becoming just so important for college football defenses. You look at all the different kind of personnel groupings that offenses like to throw at opposing defenses, having a kind of a, a chess piece that you can play as a nickel defender, as a box safety, as a boundary cornerback, it gives Florida State so much versatility in terms of how are we going to get all these good defensive backs on the field at the same time, which is it's going to be a problem. It's certainly a good problem to have when you're trying to figure out how do we get Charles Lester and Jamari Howard and Kai Bates all on the field Gregory Xavier Thomas is one of those guys that you can kind of move around the defense and allow all these really good players to get on the football field because of the versatility and the amount of different positions that Gregory Xavier Thomas can play. You turn on the film, he's really polished. I mean, not only are the physical traits really clean, this is a guy that you can tell has been coached the right way at American Heritage. It always seems like American Heritage, just they pump out not only – really athletic defensive backs, but guys who are ready to go play college football. This first rep right here, you're seeing, we're going to play some press man coverage. I'm one of the best wide receivers in the class of 2024 in Jojo Trader, and we're going to stay right in the hip pocket. I mean, we are right in the hip pocket. When that football comes up in the air, we're getting our head around, making a play on the football. That is absolutely textbook against one of the best wide receivers that we saw in the 2024 class. 
That's kind of what you get with Gregory Xavier Thomas, a guy that is not only a premier athlete, but he's a polished defensive back that can do a lot of different things at a really, really high level. And he continued to work through the film and say, one of the things I love the most is what he does in zone coverage. I mean, the feel that he has in terms of reading the quarterback's eyes and taking away throwing windows, it's kind of next level. So you want to play him at safety and allow him to kind of keep his eyes on the quarterback. You certainly could do that. But on the first rep, we saw him go up man coverage, press man coverage against one of the best wide receivers in the country. And he takes that guy away as well. So you have a guy that can operate in zone coverage, operate in man coverage, and do a lot of different things. Polished defensive back that has really good sides, really smooth right here too, breaking on the football. I mean, that's a 6'2", almost 200-pound frame that's flipping the hips and breaking on the football. A lot of different things that you can do with a guy like Gregory Xavier Thomas playing the boundary cornerback spot once again. Again, really just really good feel in zone coverage. Like we are going to keep our eyes on the quarterback, see him get rid of the football and break on the football, take away throwing windows and make a play on the ball. I am just a massive fan of, again, not only the athlete that Gregory Xavier Thomas is, again, we're going to take away throwing windows. When this football is coming out, I mean, there is some space. Gregory Xavier Thomas quickly makes up for some of that space, closes on the throwing window and makes a play. I, I'm a really big fan of not only the athlete, but the position versatility that you get. And you look at Florida State in the 2025 cycle, and it's, it's just blue chip city. Now, the other day, we talked about how they've established the line of scrimmage extraordinarily well. Their top four commitments are all line of scrimmage players. You start to scroll down and say, C.J. Wiley, a guy that I think finishes as a top 150 national player. You look at C.J. Wiley, state champ wide receiver in Georgia, has caught for over 1,400 yards, averages over 20 yards per catch. I don't really know what the recruiting services are thinking, having C.J. Wiley as only the 26th best wide receiver in the class. Tramel Jones Jr., that's a guy that probably finishes as a four-star in terms of what he's been doing in the offseason at camps like Elite 11. You add Chase Lofton, just a a tight end that moves like a wide receiver and has a massive catch radius. I was a massive fan of Chase Lofton, and that's a really big win going up to the state of Nebraska and taking away one of their best players. You look at Florida State, it sounds like they're just getting started, building a really strong class in 2025, and you start having the conversation of Bud Elliott and the blue chip ratio. I know the Florida State fans are a fan of Bud Elliott. You look at Florida State – This is a team that is going to be comfortably in the blue chip ratio over the next couple of years. This 2025 class just chock full with blue chip prospects. Really big pickup for Florida State. We'll cut it there again. Appreciate you guys rocking with the fellas. If you all do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys. We'll talk to you all later. Peace.